Greetings, my name is Murtaza Haider and I am a professor at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University in Toronto. I'm also the author of Getting Started with Data Science, Making Sense of Data with Analytics. I produced this book in collaboration with IBM. And today I am illustrating the use of Stata for econometrics, but in a particular case where you have repeated observations from the same respondent and that the observations are weighted uh, with another variable. The challenge is the following. We have a data set and it has uh, multiple observations from most or if not most all respondents. So we may collect more than one observation from each person. And at the same time, each observation does not carry the same influence. So they have to be weighted to account for um, the influence, difference in influence that each observation bears. So the weighted data will impact the estimated co coefficients and the repeated nature of observations. The panel-like structure will impact the standard errors. And the question is, can these two concerns be simultaneously held, addressed in uh, Stata? And the answer is yes. A word about Stata, it's the state of the art in econometrics and data science. Stata offers a diversity, um, a rich diversity of estimation techniques and it's as rich as um, the specialized software like LimDep, but it has the ease of use of SPSS. And the one thing that I particularly admire about Stata is the clean structure of its syntax. It's intuitive, it's logical, it does not have any redundancy. It's to the point, and you will see this, this illustrated as I will show you the example. And it's very good both for syntax and also if you're used to point and click environments, Stata is very powerful in that context as well. The example that I'm using today is um, um, a data set from Professor Daniel Hammermesh at the University of Texas in Austin. And the question he addressed is that if um, whether that good looking professors receive higher teaching evaluations in course evaluations from students. So our dependent variable in this case is the average teaching evaluation score received in a class. And the data structure is such that uh, because more, a professor may have taught more than one class so they have there are more than one teaching evaluations recorded for each professor and therefore we will have to account for this by using the unique identifier for each professor and that would be the id variable for each professor at the same time not all classes are the same some are classes with several hundred students other are classes with a few dozen or fewer students so you have to account for the fact that if there are a few hundred students responding to teaching evaluation that course should have a higher weightage in the data set than a course with just five or six students responding to the teaching evaluation survey. So we will weight the observations by the number of students who have participated in, in the teaching evaluation survey. And the explanatory variables, the controls are essentially gender of the instructor, the English language proficiency of the instructor, instructor the tenure status, whether the course is upper division or lower division, um, whether the course carry one or more credit, and then the uh, visible minority status of the professor and the key variable of interest is the normalized beauty score or the beauty score recorded by students of each instructor. There are about 463 courses and about 93 plus uh, 93 odd instructors in the data set and you can actually download the data set in Stata format. Um, the data set is called teachingratings.dta which is the Stata format and you can download it from one of my websites and the URL is posted right here. Essentially, what I've done is first I've used the regress command. The short for it is reg, uh, reg, reg, and then eval is my dependent variable. Beauty is a variable of interest, and the rest are controls. And if I run this just one line, it will um, get the results for a regular regression model, which is the ordinary least square. And I can use this command estimate or est store ols so that the output from this command is stored here. And then what you see in red is all I need, in fact, to run. A, or estimate a model where the model is weighted by the variable students and the standard errors are clustered around professors. So the same command goes all the way up to here and then just a tiny addition of um, within brackets aw analytic weights is equal to students close square bracket comma cluster and then the name of the variable in uh, parentheses. I stored the results from this in a command called estimate store clustered and then using estimate tab or develop you know generate a table of estimates for OLS which I stored earlier clustered which I stored now and then some other commands and, and, and instructing the software to produce variable labels rather than the names of the variables and what I have here 
is the output. And notice that I have the OLS output and the clustered output, which is basically the estimate table output command. What is of interest is what is enclosed in this red color box. Notice that under using clustered standard errors, the output that I have from Stata is identical to the output that you see that was produced in the paper by Professor Hammermish. If you like this um, and want to learn more about uh, running uh, simple and advanced regression models, I encourage you to uh, consult chapter seven of the, the book, Getting Started with Data Science, or get in touch with me. Looking forward to assisting you with your econometrics learning in the future.